sweaters. He might want to go for the cheap one. Oh, dear. I think I've got a Sunday off and then it's the rest of them. I think I can get all the ones with our little box over there. He's got loads of stuff today. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Here we go. I think I'm going to go straight over and see Bob. Oh, look, I got tables, hot dogs. Okay, we're going to go. Oh, look at the clothes. Well, we're going to go see Bob. Straight over. He is, of course, everybody's at Bob's stall. Rude. <laughs> I wonder if Bob remembers me. Oh, look. got lots of stuff. I have a large one like this. I just I have a large one. I think this is his pound table. I'm clear. I'm gonna have a look anyway. Look at oh my Lanta. Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh. Pretty. Oh I love oh my god. Hi you alright? Thank you. You're on your own? Yes, I am. I he, met your, we met your other half. I know, he said. I said I have to come and see Bob. I have his, oh, Joseph, I haven't seen him in ages. Okay. Wow, look. Okay, Bob always got the good stuff. And so does Wendy. That's the lady he sells with. She's got good stuff too. Oh my gosh. Rubbish. Ooh, oh, wow. Look at that. That is cool. Look at this tray. It's all so Ooh. Cans. Oh, two cards. Leaving shuttles. It's the weather. Mm. Oh, look. Morning. Morning. Ooh, ooh, all the pretties. 
only four. Okay, I might. I'm gonna just have a look around. For, that's five. Jesus. Okay, these prices are pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to put you down for a minute and have a good look at everything. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and I hope you enjoyed the little shop with me at the Chesterfield Market I went to. It was a rainy Thursday morning, and I decided to go. I took the day off to go. I hadn't seen Bob in a while, and I got a few things from Bob. And roughly everything on this table, apart from two things, works out to about two pound each. So each item on this table is about two pound each, and we're going to go through everything. So let's see what I got. So obviously I stopped at Bob's first and I got this lovely Bulacante glass ashtray. I love this. It's in good condition. No chips, no cracks, very clean inside. So I got that. And then I got this pair of little tiny, tiny candlesticks. I just think they're cool. They're perfect for autumn displays or really any time. If you put some little red candles in there, perfect for Christmas. So I got those. And, oh, and then I got this little poodle here. I got this little poodle. It's cute. This little brass poodle. There's no maker's mark on it, but I just thought it was pretty cool. I just saw a poodle and had to have it. So I got that. Oh, and then I got this. Oh, I, I'm a sucker for little shiny handbags. I'm going to tell you right now. I've got this lovely beaded sequence and bugle bead handbag. And inside it says Debonair Marta, made in Hong Kong. So there's, well, let me see if I can show you the tag. There's a tag there. And it's really clean inside. Well, there's a little bitty schmutz there. Wait, can you see it? Oh, it's right here. Right there. I wonder if I can get that out. I will try to get that out. It looks like a bit of makeup or something. But I didn't care. For two pound, I loved it. I love this little handbag. So I got that. And then I got this. This was actually a pound. So this is like a little, almost like, a, I don't know, a Bakelite. Little plastic, vintage plastic ring tree. And I loved it. I thought that was cute. I love the colors. That is Lola. <laughs> if you can hear her bells. And then I got this little vase. This little pink vase. I think it's probably Matarfa glass. I'm not sure, unclear, but I got this little pink vase. There's the bottom. It's quite smooth on the bottom. It's not clear, but it's really smooth. So there's not a rough poncho mark. So I got that. So then I went to the next stall. And like I said, everything was roughly two pounds to the next stall. And I got these two, uh, oh, wrong side. These two, I love the little compacts. I'm a sucker for a compact. I love them. This one, it's got these lovely roses on it with like a red background. And let me open it for you. She says, oh, here I go, <laughs> trying to open the wrong side. So there's what your pressed powder would be. There's me watching you, watching me. And it doesn't have a maker's mark on it, but, oh, it does, it's very tiny. No, it doesn't. So that's the back. I love this, very good, I love these. This still has powder in it. This is by Stratton, made in England. Um, and it's got powder in it, which is not broken up, surprisingly, because usually it breaks if it, it, it's old and dried out. But this still has powder. So it has this little powder puff that says Yardley. So it's probably some type of Yardley powder. powder. Whew. Love my gold lady. So I shall keep the powder in there. When I sell it, I'd be like, Comes with powder. I don't know how old it is. I wouldn't recommend using it. But here we are. So I got that. And then I got some brooches. I thought this little tin fish was super cute. Again, he was, uh, they were about two pounds each. It was about one pound 62 for everything. Um, I just rounded up to two. Got that. And then I got this lovely amber glass brooch, which is pretty. It's got a rollover clasp. So I got that. And then I got this, this Chica. Now Chica's on one. Okay, Chica girl, hang on. And then I got this little black brooch. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's a little dusty. Oh, I'll show you the back of the card. It has a rollover clasp, yes. 
we have a winner. Let's see. Let me take it off. And then, so I got this little rollover clasp. Oh, sorry. Got this brooch with this rollover clasp. <laughs> I'll get there in the end. <laughs> it's been a long day. So then I got this. This was cool. This is like this little, it says made in Czech, made in the Czech Republic. So I can't read either. So it's these little like red flowers with the little glass. They're all, it's all glass. Even the base is glass. Oh, the base is, is the base glass? Huh, feels the base feels plastic, but the flowers are glass. And I just love this. Again, it was like one pound 62. And all the flowers are intact. It's got all the things. It's so good. It's just so cute. So I got that. So then <clears throat> I walked along. I was quite, you know, happy with my little purchases. I was on my way out. And then I st saw a stall. And he had some glass and some pottery. And I was like, uh, let me just look. And I'm glad I stopped. Because I got this. This. <laughs> this is some kind of weird. Uh, it just looks wrong. <laughs> Modern art vase, modern art, art glass, all the things. And the bottom is quite smooth. It's never a rough ponce mark. And this was five pounds. So I had to pick this up. This could be modern. I need to Google lens it and see what it, who makes it. But I mean, it could be from Ikea for all I know. <laughs> I just thought it was a cool shape. So I had to pick it up for a fiver. And then of course, my favorite, your favorite, everyone's favorite, a derpy deer. Yes, it is a pitcher slash vase. It's shaped like a pitcher. I would personally use it as a vase, but it's got the deer on it, the fern. It is Eastgate pottery. And there's the bottom. And that's my derpy little deer. He was four pounds, so I couldn't pass him up. Four pounds, it's a good size. And who doesn't like a derpy deer? So that's my haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this small shop with me that day. It was... So it was raining and everybody was crowded under the, because there, there's awnings over the market. So everybody was crowded around under the awnings and it was quite close. People were quite close to me. So I filmed as much as I could. <laughs> Didn't want to get people in the video or annoy anybody. Oh, wait, I'm not finished. Oh my gosh. Hang on. I forgot to show you these. So from the same stall, I got all these ornaments. These crystal. Oh, I forgot these. I wonder why that went so fast. <laughs> I got these and they're, um, they have Italy marked on them. So I'll show you that. So right here, in the corner, it says Italy. And they're, I think they're like wood. And yeah, they feel like wood, carved wood. But look at that. I've got six of these. So I've got perfect for Christmas, good vintage Christmas. Oh, maybe they're not. I think they're kind of a plasticky um, feel. So I've got this angel. It says Gloria on the front. Again, it has it had Italy on some of them. Oh, yep, right there on the bottom. Italy. So I got quite a few of these. They're playing trumpets. I've got bigger ones playing trumpets. Littler ones playing uh, just with the little sash that says Gloria on it. I was really pleased to find these. F I'm finding vintage Christmas, it's not hard. It's not impossible. But it's, um, it's, they're not as, I mean, it's not as, you don't find them as much. And, and it does usually go for really good money. So I was happy to find these for like two pound each. And they're all made in Italy. So I've got six of them. So that's my haul, y'all. <laughs> that's it. For real this time, though. This is my haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed shopping at the market. It hadn't been in a while. So it was good to go back and see Bob and see that he was okay and still kicking because, you know, Bob's very important to me. All right, guys, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.